Hey Carol, so another option is to use uh, Moment.js, which is a really small JavaScript library that was written uh, specifically to handle dates because they're really just nasty things. And uh, in order to use it, um, well, I've attached um, uh, a Moment.js file and the UX to, um, to this message. So grab the Moment.js file and you, pr you probably have um, a JavaScript folder. Uh, underneath your projects. So uh, just get in there and uh, put the moment.js file in there. And then once you do that, uh, get back into the uh, into the UX, into the properties, and here, JavaScript linked files. Since it's in the JS folder, you just want to say JS forward slash moment.js, and that loads the moment.js file into the uh, into the UX when it fires up, so that uh, all of its libraries are available for you. So here's what this uh, here's what this whole thing looks like. I'll just run this. Now I I noticed later on that you have yours uh, your date sitting in a and a um, repeating section, so you just have to add the repeating section uh, um, to uh, the row to this to all this stuff. So, but this stuff would still work. So here's your GL date, here's a current p beginning date with a default of uh, June the 15th, and a current period end date of uh, default uh, defaulting to um, July the 15th. So we're going to pick a date here. It's the f uh, 4th of June. So is GL af if GL after today? Yes, GL is after today's date, so we'll just go back. GL is not after today. Let's pick today's date. It's still not after today. Uh, is this GL date uh, more than a year old? Nope, it's less than a year old. And what about tomorrow? Now it's more than a year old. We'll pick last week less than a year old. Is the GL date prior to the beginning date? Yes it is. And we'll pick a date that's after. So now the GL date is on or after the beginning date. And the ending date, GL date, ending date. Is GL date after the ending date? No, it's on or before the ending date. And we'll pick a date here is after the ending date. So let's go and have a look. If it's after the ending date. So we grab the date, GL date, just like the just like you're doing. I'm just testing to make sure that we have a date in here, that's all. Then we say that uh, we want to grab today, so that's moment. Um, and if you don't supply a date value in here or a string value, it just assumes today. And we want a format of month to year like you're like you're doing. So you say moment dot format month to year. And this is all in the documentation that moment.js has online. So uh, we do a check date. So is um, now we take moment and we put our date in here, our GL date, and then uh, moment has a, a, a method called is after. So is this date, is after today? Not always true, but um, so um, if it's uh, if it's true, then um, GL date is after today. If it's not, it's of course it's not. So we can use the uh, the moment is after stuff uh, when we want to check a year. It gets a little bit more complex, but still not too bad. So again, we grab the date. And what we can do is we want to take our date and subtract a year from it. So we can do, and I think there's a number of ways to do this, but this is just one way. So we do moment and our date dot subtract years. And how many years do we want to subtract? One year. And the great thing about subtract is this can be days, hours, months. It doesn't matter. It's um, all this stuff is built into moment.js. So to, and then we take today's date, again we grab today's date, and then we go after it a year before, and then we can use is after on our dates that are now a year old to find out whether they're more than a year old or not.
this is a fairly straightforward one. We grab the uh, current GL date and the beginning date. And then we just say um, is moment our GL date is before the uh, beginning date. And then we just do that. So there's, there's no calculations to be done. We just grab our dates, compare them, and off we go. And the same thing with that is after. We just use this after. And there are a thousand functions within uh, moment.js. So uh, it's just another option that, uh, that you can have a look at uh, working with. Thanks for looking.